Hi everyone, welcome back to ShopRite's YouTube channel. My name is Jessica and we are back with week three of their back to school series. This week we're talking all things student school supplies. Now, you might not think about visiting your local ShopRite to complete that student supply list, but I guarantee you after a visit to my local ShopRite, I found everything I needed to complete the list. Here are a few of my favorites with some tips and tricks and some food favorites along the way. First up, book bags and bagels. Now, my tip for you is to make sure you find the most colorful book bag you can find for your child so that they are not lost in a sea of dark book bags. I found this one at my local ShopRite's school supply aisle and it is perfect for everything that they need to throw in. I also found in the bread aisle, bowl and baskets cinnamon raisin bagels, a big favorite in our family. Next up, markers and macaroni. Now, I know that you are always replenishing that marker supply because they've either lost the cap or have dried out. One tip is to take the markers out of the box and wrap them in a rubber band. That way, it is easy to see the colors and it can be popped right into the pencil case. As for the macaroni, I suggest Bolin Baskets a Spiral Macaroni along with the rest of Bolin Baskets pasta line found in their pasta aisle. Which leads me to pesto, pencils, and pepperoni. Now, boil that Bolin Basket macaroni, open a jar of Bolin Baskets pesto sauce, toss in, and you're set to go. As for the pencils, I like to take a set of at least five pencils, wrap them in a rubber band, and make sure that they are pre-sharpened so that your child has the opportunity to always have a pencil available during a lesson. For the pepperoni, we enjoy Bowl and Baskets pepperoni pizza with rising crust, especially for an after-school treat. Now, we can't forget the highlighters or the hummus, both found at ShopRite. I love these individually packed hummus packages, perfect for your child's school lunch or for your own at work. Another supply list must have, sticky notes and why not some string cheese? My tip is to take one pack of sticky notes and place them in every subject area for your child for the school year. As for the string cheese, I like Wholesome Pantry's organic, pre-packaged, individually packed string cheese, perfect for anyone's lunch bag. Now we all know notebooks and binders make their way into the school supply list every year, both of which you can find at ShopRite but I couldn't help but think of binders and biscotti because Bowl and Baskets chocolate biscotti is one of my all time favorite snacks, especially with a great cup of coffee in the morning. My tip, consider the size binder your child's teacher is asking for on the supply list so it fits perfectly in their book bag. For marble notebooks, consider buying one with a hard cover so it could sustain all the bumps and bruises of the school year in their bag. And one last quick tip for that other supply must have on the list, folders. I suggest finding many different colors to assign to a subject area if your child's teacher hasn't already done so. And if you have an older child, you might consider finding an accordion folder like this that allows your child to open up from the top of their book bag to shove all of their papers that they get throughout the day. And there you have it, your child is ready to head off to school. Now don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and be sure to enter the back to school sweepstakes in the description box below, where you'll also find links to week one and week two's episodes. And return for our final episode next week where we talk all things what the teacher needs. Until then, bye.